Elite Wrestling. From April of 1998 until April of 2001, you saw it every single week. Power Pro Wrestling, the power hour where you could always expect the unexpected. One thing today I expect and I got my buddy from over the pond, my friend. PJ is in the house, the first in the room. Hello from over the pond. Now I have an open announcements and open monologues and that sort of thing, but we're gonna let you know real quick what's on this show today. We will go to the peach tree state of Georgia. We'll bring in Adam Dunn, who's always expecting an exciting power hour. <laughs> Good day to you. Good day. What's going on? How's your life? Everything is going well. And yeah, like you said, we're looking forward to watching an awesome Power Hour. Power Pro Wrestling always expect the unexpected. And we're going to take a look at May 1st, 1999, episode 55. We're going to see the Young Guns come out and confront Randy. And then we'll see Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle going against Glenn Kolka. Then we'll see Brandon Baxter and Derek King. Their feud continues. Sensational Steve Bradley will be going against Bulldog Reigns. We'll see Kid Wicked in a match against Derek King. And our main event, we'll see the superstar Bill Dundee going up against vicious Vic Grimes. All promises to be yet another good power hour here today, Randy. Follow me with the comments. We've already okay. talked about PJ. John McCall says... Hey, Randy, good in to yeah. you. See who, see who else we have, Adam. Brooks Tullis also says hello, Randy and Adam. And we also have Rod W. Robinson says good evening from the Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg, Illinois. Hope everyone is doing well. Frank Seaton is in the house. He says hello to both of us. And our buddy Jeff Frog Wheeler, he's in and says good evening, gentlemen. Hope all is well. Gregory White is saying hello to us. And Melinda Yay. Patterson says, hi, Randy. Bunch of things, bunch of people. Now, people so. wanting to see the power hour. Now, I'm excited about it, and it's the first time in a long time. You've been on a show where we've tried this. I tried it last week on the Randy Hill Show. I think I did four or five Randy Hill Show. We'll get into my suspension from Uber a little later on. And I'll give a follow up to that. All's back normal and back going and all that sort of thing. Things going at all. But what I decided to do was go live on the Monday show and also on the Randy Hill show. Not, I know I'll get flagged for the Tuesday show, so we won't do that. But we're on YouTube, folks. So if you want to watch this show on YouTube, youtube.com slash at Randy Hills, you can watch there. You can watch on the Randy House Facebook, the Power Pro Facebook, the Memphis Wrestling Hall of Fame Facebook, and you can also watch at RB Hales on Twitter. We are all over the place. Now, we had an interview on the Randy Hills show, and I didn't know where it was going. My pal, my friend of many, many decades, Greg Wayne, had made a comment and said that he replied to the fact I was going to do a show and I was going to do a rant. And he said that he wanted to do a rant and Hey, uh, Rod is talking in. We have Al Tuttle in the house. Al's in the house and Andrew Cabin Jr's on the house. Hey, Randy, the owner, founder, and the president, and Mr. Johnson, Liza, is in the house. for power, pro wrestling, expect the unexpected. We have Thailand. We have Australia. We have Georgia. We have Illinois. 
we got people all over the place. We got the other side of Arkansas with Frank Seaton. Back to the Randy Hales show. And I envision that show to be more of an interactive show to where I have guests. And we also talk about a lot more stuff, a lot more stuff than just wrestling. And the other day on the first day that we released it and had the deal, Adam, I want to get your input. So you weren't producing, you weren't on the show, but you were watching some of the show. Yeah. And pretty much it wasn't what I expected with with Greg Wayne because it made me feel bad. I was talking about my bad day and it was completely yeah. work-related type of thing. And he started off by saying, you have to kind of realize what's going on. And he talked about, out that he is dealing with family issues yeah. that that's serious and his wife Vicky her cancer has has resumed we always love Vicky care about Vicky and was heartbroken to hear that news and then Greg also announced that he was going for surgery colon surgery take part of his colon out I believe is the case yeah. today and he checked in or Earlier this morning, he got out of out of surgery and back in the uh, it was in the recovery room, and there's no no update for that. But basically, what I envisioned this show to, to be kind of shocking, kind of breaking news type of thing, and most of all, keeping it real, real, real. What was your thoughts about that? Well, you know, as, as if uh, the news about Vicky wasn't bad enough with the cancer returning, I almost expected maybe to hear a little bit about that when Greg came on because we knew about that. But as if that wasn't bad enough, then to hear about uh, Greg as well having to go in for surgery. And like you said, that happened today. And uh, so then you've got a situation there where both of them are having to have surgery for different things. So it was a really really emotional show i appreciate greg coming on and doing that it was raw it was not anything that we knew about before we put greg on the air that was just raw emotion as he was telling that story and of course he was you know he wasn't really worried much about himself he was worried mostly about vicky and that's completely understandable and like you said randy both of them go way back in wrestling go way back with you uh both of them were even involved with power pro as well and we just send out our our prayers and best wishes and everything for both of them. It's heartbreaking. And if you go to my YouTube channel, maybe some of you might be watching right here, might be watching on YouTube. You have that option Monday show, but you can go back. I'm not positive it's in the archive, but if you click on the live heading, then you can find the archives of the show. We also had Rod w robinson on a couple of different times a great guest we had uh laza johnson from australia and it was fantastic fantastic and uh, definitely for sure and adam put laza johnson what you the comment you had up there again so i can see it been loving the radio shows some really inspiring stories on it thanks for for having him on the show man you made the show really interesting loving to to get to make friends like like pj and like laza from other parts of the world it is great 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 we have prayers for my buddy greg and my buddy vicky for sure so that's just something that i'm excited about and when i have extra time i'll go ahead and certainly do that adam i got the sneezes say something for about 10 seconds i guess it's a good thing to put the randy hell show graphic up on the air so yeah randy will do the randy hill show just every now and then usually get some advance notice from him when he does it and he likes to have guests on there so if you ever want to be on the screen with randy and ask him any questions the randy hill show is the time and place to do it one of the rants that I was saying the other day, and I broke that news on the Randy Hale show, I had a dead gum guy's bad handwriting cost me 
a lot of money. I mean, in a period of 10 days, six, seven, eight hundred dollars on lost income. It was all due to our Uber inspection, due to going to a place that I always go to to get my car inspected that we have to get done every single year. Got that done and I was early. It wasn't even due to the 13th. I outsmarted myself. I'm thinking, well, something goes wrong. I have plenty of time to fix that. Well, something went wrong. It was the guy wrote the wrong VIN number to the car wrong car then he transposed over it that was flagged by a computer generated deal as being a tampered document possible fraud and i was suspended i was absolutely put that uber thing up there yeah i was suspended they said it might be five or six days before they could answer my appeal on the phone i gave them the promo of all promo and Basically, I was down two days, two days, and the, the, your account shouldn't uh, have been suspended in, in the first place, I thought. No, S-H-I-T. But it was, and that was just the thing. And I decided, because, folks, my income is Uber, and it's been an unbelievable income, and it's been a fantastic thing. As Jerry Lawler, when he suggested it to me, several years ago said you like to drive check you like people check most of the time and you like money you're exactly right it's been the perfect retirement deal perfect thing to do i loved it and the income is better than a lot of careers that i've ever had it's been fantastic all my eggs are pretty much in that basket unless you want to buy a book unless you want to buy living the dream the randy hill story and i believe we have a new way that makes it easier for you to do it of course it's on amazon.com and you see that thing you can scan up there and you can can put your phone in order the, the books and there's a the better shot of it right there that's a better shot right there for sure check out living the dream real quick before well i'll go ahead and tell you that i decided all the eggs in one basket and then i was just stuck no income but in that series of days that i was having problems probably last thursday i went ahead and applied for lyft another ride share company lyft there you see that and so i got approved today and that's gonna be my backup and i'll probably do it an hour or two a day and just see how it goes so i'm on uber and i'm on lyft and i have the living the dream randy hills book before we throw to the show i guess i will update everybody i just got a couple of doctor's appointments coming up first of all I'll tell you that it's not too long from now as we had the cardio scan and I will go to see the cardiologist first time in my life on March the 13th, 9.30 a.m. And then about a week or so after that, my doctor wanted me to go to a diabetic eye exam and I do that on March the 21st at 10.30 a.m. All right. We are live on all the Facebooks, on Twitter, and on the YouTube channel for sure. And real quick, I'll let Adam go over the comments that and catch us up on that right now. Yeah, we just had uh, just a couple additional comments come in. Uh, Mr. Johnson plans on getting the ebook version and says he plans to study your your book to learn. Uh, his pro wrestling promoter ambition. So he's going to get the book for that. Brooks has swapped over to YouTube and is watching us there. He says that he says he'd like to get that book, but he wants it signed by the man himself. If you want the book and you want it signed by Randy, there is another QR code over at the top of the screen over here that says visit my website. Go to Randy's website, RandyHalesMemphisWrestling.com. You can buy the book there. And Randy will send that out to you himself, and he'll personalize it however you want it. 
but you have to get it exclusively from Randy's website. That's randyhalesmemphiswrestling.com. The other graphic that we have up on the screen now is if you want to get it through Amazon, but it will not be personalized. So that is that is the difference between the two there. And you can get the, uh, there's a Kindle version that, that you can get through the Amazon if you want it on like an e-reader as well. If you want it from Randy, autographed from him, randyhalesmemphiswrestling.com. And I can tell everybody right now, we, and it'll take a little bit to order new books. I got anywhere from three to five books. There's not many books. My last order was a big order. And, and then we're coming to the end of that. I'm having a little issues ordering that thing. I think the Kindle book is for $9.99, $9.99. Anybody else with comments to say, Adam? That's all we have so far from new comments. Let's go ahead and go to what is this? The double nickel show? Is this a double nickel? Yeah, uh, episode 55. Yep. Let's go ahead and get ready to expect the unexpected. Get ready for the power hour. Get ready for some power pro wrestling. We are fired up and we're going, what in the world happens right now? Power Pro Wrestling. Power Pro Wrestling. <laughs> power Pro Wrestling. The Power Hour. Adam, check the audio level of the show. The show really overwhelmed us much louder than us and you can look comments that's exactly why i'm here is because i'm not booked here is that right no you're not booked here that's uh, exactly what i want to talk about i've drove over 350 miles to get here and find out i'm not hey, booked. Chris and when i am booked i'm put on as a standby i want to see randy hales and i want to see him right now well, well yeah you you absolutely need to take it up with Randy. Now, yeah, Randy has said he's not coming out here. He, he came out last week and said he was taking himself out of this talent situation where he's, where he's out on camera all the time. He's running the business. What you need to do is either see him personally or get on the phone and give him a call. You think I'm stupid? You don't think I've tried calling Randy Hales? Call Randy Hales, Hillman is assistant, and don't try to fool everybody with who your assistant is, Randy. We know who it is. Neither one of you give me a call back, and if he wants this TV show to go on today, he'll come out here, and he'll come out right now, because if he doesn't, there's not going to be a TV show. I'm not leaving. You can't make me, and you can't hey, make come me. On. And there's nobody in this building that can make me. Well, I'm not going to try to make it, but I, I am going to encourage him to leave. We do have a television show to get on the air, and the folks are tuned in to see a wrestling match. Here's reporting the uh, right hand man, Randy. Yeah, man, running his mouth. Well, here comes Randy. Uh, Randy, we tried to explain to him. Listen, Scott, this is not the, as you know, to conduct business whatsoever. We'll go back in the back. No, I got no, a television no. show to do. And this is messing us up on no, time. No, 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 no. No, we're going to get it straightened out right here, Randy. I've called you four times this week. Have you called me back? No, you haven't. You know I'm the greatest talent in Power Pro Wrestling. I've been here for almost a year. Ask these people. Am I the greatest one here? See that? Ask these people. Am I the best? First of all, I was happy the week I was in Ohio. And the other part of the, the week I had my brother I had a heart attack. I've been busy. This, I've been busy. The situation is, Scott, I like you. You're a great talent. You're a great person. You're good in the dressing room, and you're dependable. I have to make choices for ratings and for business-wise uh, as far as who I choose uh, to put in main events, that sort of thing, and it, there just hadn't been a spot here. Not that it won't be sometime, but it's nothing personal at all, and I got a TV show to do right now. Well, one way or the other, I'm going to get the shot I deserve around here. I'm telling you right now, I've made a bit material. Hey, what's this dude coming out here for, huh? Oh, now Kid Wicked arrived. Yeah, here comes Kid Wicked. Randy, Randy we need to get that. No, we got to keep it. Randy, what's really going on? I already know, Randy. Do you hear that? The bullfrog has a valid point. 
My name ain't Bullfrog. You get it right, buddy. Okay, he has a valid point. He has a very valid point. A year ago, Randy, when you started this company, you had big dreams of the Young Guns Division. And I called you, and I told you that I wanted to be a part of it. And I told you, Randy, you gave me a chance. I would get myself over. You said, no, Tony Williams is dead in Memphis. So you said, Tony, come up with a gimmick. So I did. I thought about it, and the way I live my life is the wicked way. So I came up with Kid Wicked, and I got myself over, and we were doing good. But then you got nervous, Randy Hales, and you in the fabulous ones, and Michael P.S. Hayes, and all of a sudden, this young gun division got forgotten. All it was was the old men again, Bill Dundee, Jerry Lawler, Michael Hayes, the fabulous ones. For 30 years, we've seen it, and we're tired of it. Give somebody else a chance. Give them bigger a chance, and this is something that's a, that should be done in the office. I mean, not here. We I be believe in you, I we believe try. in you, and I believe in Andy. I believe in Lawler. I think it takes a total package. I think the fans, the way everybody that's here, everybody's here, and you're coming up griping about your situation. I'm not griping, but Bill Dundee and Jerry Lawler have been shoved down their throats for 30 years, and they've had their time. It's our time, my time. It's Bulldog Reigns. It's exactly it's right. young men's time. Hey, this world in wrestling has evolved, and it's time you get with the program, Randy. There's Steve Bradley now coming yeah, this way. Bradley. We're going to have a ring full up here before you know it. Now, whoa, whoa. It seems to me there shouldn't be a discussion about drawing money and getting high ratings without including Steve Bradley. Now, Kid Wicked, I've already had 100 matches with you, and in case I'm seeing things, it looks like I'm still the Young Guns champion. Bulldog Reigns, you look to me like nothing but a bald, fat redneck who drives four or five hours who drives four or five hours every week just to get your butt kicked on TV. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But the reason I'm out here is for one reason, and that's to address you, Randy Hales. You want to draw money? You want to draw high ratings? It looks like more often than not, you should include your Young Guns champion, Steve Bradley. That wants to be in your situation. It's a competitive time at all, but this is not. The time. Hey, there's too many people here. You handle this. We're gonna. I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Just got one thing to say here. I can't, just, just keep your mouth shut there for a second, yes. You know, I've been here in this miserable, God-forsaken country for six months now. Now, when you brought me over here, Mr. Hales, all the way from Ireland, you gave me your word that I would be the showcased athlete here. That every Saturday, I would be the one on Saturday. Hold your mouth, son. Yeah. Now, since I've been here, you've been showcasing the likes of these. And look what you have here. You got a Smurf. You got a cartoon character. And you got bloody Humpty Dumpty standing over here. Hey. Now, let me tell you something, son. I know what this is all about. You want to control me, Hales. You nor no other promoter can ever control Mick Tierney. You can't. That's what it's about. Now, I give it to people. I think these people want to see the best athletes in the world in the ring. I think they deserve to see the best athletes in the world. Now, I'm the best athlete in Ireland. I'm the best in Europe. And I'm about to become the best here in America. If you stand behind your word and give me a shot. Kurt Angle now joins uh, the group. Looks like the dressing room is empty in there. Yeah. And we haven't had our first match yet. So this is the great debate. Randy Hales, I've seen you get your share of TV time. Not that you're main events. I've seen a lot of other people, Steve Bradley, Mick Tierney, all these guys, Kid Wicked, they got their share too. Well, I haven't had mine. You know, I said it once, and I'm going to say it again. I won the gold medal in the 1996 Olympic Games, and I proved to everyone in the world that I can make my way to the top. And it wasn't easy. And I proved that again here in pro wrestling. And Mick, you claim to be some shoot fighter. Well, let me tell you something. I faced the great ones. Mark Coleman, Mark Kerr, Ken Shamrock. Are those names familiar? 
Well, I beat them here now, so to me, Mick, you're nothing. You have a lot to prove to me. And one last thing, one last thing. I love to put everything on the line. Kurt Angle loves to put everything on the line. Here's Glenn Coca out now. And Randy, if you give me the shot, push, that I truly deserve, I will not let my fans down, and that is a promise. Every single one of them. Glenn Coca. Let somebody speak who knows what we're talking about out here. I am sick and tired of jabonis. Matt Burns, I don't know the rest of the crew here, he taking all the credit and all the blame for who's coming in who. Had a gimmick for him that didn't get over, Mr. but Glenn he wasn't there long. I don't anybody think he in even made it's gonna be the main roster. Everybody here knows that, because there's one reason, and there's one thing that I live by. You live by intensity, or you die by it. And I'm still breathing. Same thing with Mick, same thing with several. What's he got? These people out of here want to be entertained. Nobody cares that you played football. Nobody cares that you were a shoot fighter. Nobody cares that you were a 1996 Olympic winner. I am an entertainer. I entertain these people. I just beat the mega star, Brandon Hitler, and that's what I'm about around here. Hey, wait a minute, Derek. Wait just a minute. Hey, hold on just a second, people. Derek King, you took the Power Pro Tag Team titles for granted. Me and you were the tag team champions. We beat too much and we beat all, but you took it for granted because you were worried about Brandon. Because I single-handedly won those tag titles by myself, and I've beaten Brandon back, so I left him two weeks laying across Bill Street. Where's he at now? Hey, I've given you your pops. You're good, but you left me high and dry the past two weeks. Uh oh here's Brandon Baxter. He's after Derek King. They're out on the floor, and there goes uh, Derek. Referee Aubrey Wayne has tackled Brandon Baxter on the floor. Trying to keep him uh, keep him away from Derek, uh, but Brandon headed back in the hallway. He's still looking for it. Oh, here comes Big Green. Is there... This is a mess. This is chaos. This thing was like coming in earlier, are, people. Uh, Power Pro Wrestling was expected to be unexpected. Wow, this is good. how good and great you are every week well you know what the vicious one Vic Grimes comes out here and shows you every week how good and great he is you know I will never cry my shoulda coulda would us no the Vic Grimes the vicious one himself will come out here and say to himself every week should I could I would I of course I'll kick your face in one more time because I patent my career around the man himself mankind that's right, the air bear hardcore violence, and wake up, boy, today is hardcore, and hardcore is raining. And one more thing, Bill Dundee, it makes me sick to my stomach, sick to my stomach that I gotta wrestle you. Bill Dundee, the Horton brother. Have you okay? Now we go. I don't care if it's the 90s, brother. If you just shut your fat guts, I'll tell you what it's all about. This Stinking crew couldn't draw 15 cents in China. Not today, anyway. Takes a long time to become a made of better. Now, let me tell you something. When the dream machine was walking around here, the fabulous ones had some Jimmy about it. You couldn't get a seat nowhere. Now, you're heroes, Wu. Cactus Jack, he was the first guy to take Fat Man break table, just like you. Right, here we go, Corey. Here we go. This thing has started already. Still haven't had officially a uh, first match. We've just got chaos. Yeah, let's let's just take a break. We'll be back with more of the power hour once we sort this out. Yeah. A lot to unpack there, and we'll unpack it right now. Wow. Adam, you're going to have to help me here because there's so much here. And one thing that I was going to say is that the other day on the Randy Hill Show, the other day on one of the first broadcasts on the YouTube channel, uh, my, my buddy, Mr. Johnson, had something to ask. And he has goals to be and wanted advice to be a wrestling promoter. 
So I laid it out to him. Al, this is master class from Randy Hills. And really, that's what I like. And, you know, I watched Busted Open today and Mark Henry and Bully Ray tries to break down this business. And it's real interesting when they do that. And I try to do that as well. And as I bring Adam in here, it's a lot going on in that thing. First of all, the video we just saw. First of all, my philosophy was expect the unexpected. Second of all, I wanted to push big time the young guns division. Certainly, I incorporated the WWE developmental talent in the thing. However, was looking for ratings, looking for house show live event crowds to make money. I had a lot of balances. So it was my philosophy to have a balance of the two. Now, the younger guys, the young gun division hated the legends, hated the fabs, hated Lawler, hated Dundee. And I'm not going to speak for every one of them. There are some people that didn't get wrestling storytelling like Kurt Angle. Sure, he was a bad son of a gun. He won Olympic gold medal in 1996 with a broken freaking neck. He was bad. Kalka, Tierney, great, great group. But however, they didn't like the old folks. They, the old, the older veterans didn't like the young guns division. And that made compelling television. What we did right there, you've seen it done and butchered and not get over and not mean nothing all you want. And that basically wasn't a scripted situation. I said, I scripted who came out when. And I said, okay, you have a gripe, tell it to us, keep it clean. And try to incorporate who you're feuding with. But as far as scripted, there wasn't a word scripted. Not from me, not from anybody, not from the announcers. I think looking back to that, and I, I know there's local television. I know in Memphis, well, one of them is not on local television anymore, but that's another story for another day, and I don't care. And I don't certainly <laughs> not going to take shots. This is what a wrestling television show is supposed to be. I think this is exciting now. Without the bells and whistles, I was like AEW was in California, had a great pay-per-view, fantastic pay-per-view, a lot of reviews type, type of thing. And we see the bells and whistles, and we see the fancy Raws and SmackDown. This was in a shoestring budget, basically. Pretty much no budget as far as production. We took advantage with a TV station, but we didn't have pyros. We didn't have this. We didn't have that. It wasn't over scripted. I'm not saying it wasn't laid out. It was laid out. It was booked, but it wasn't scripted. I think right now, if people and this audience that's watching this show can certainly see it, can certainly see it. The kids, the young people of the day that grows up seeing 13,000 people in the building. I know people see that and think, this is rinky-dink. This is low budget. But to me, people, this is wrestling. This television show was not an infomercial for the live events, which was the purpose of wrestling television for the first 50 years of exist existence. We changed that with Power Pro because we were a TV company that got TV revenue. We had sponsorship and we were the developmental center for the WWE. And with that, we got money. And with that, we had shots with the game, with The Rock, with a lot of people out there. I'm telling you right now, not only if I'm saying, and I'm saying it right now, Chris Pierce, I know you're watching. I know you're part of one of the companies and that's great if you don't think there's not a wrestling company in memphis that wouldn't want me booking the son of a bitch you're totally totally wrong now they might knock me because i've knocked them before because it just 
to manage and book the young guys today that came up a different way than I do. I'm not saying they're all bad and there's some great, great talent. I'm saying that there's nobody on local television that knows how to put a compelling television show together. I don't care if it's Memphis. I don't care if it's New York City, original type of wrestling company. They don't know how to do TV and they don't know how to do wrestling. And I'm telling every one of you, and I know I'm yelling, I'm screaming, I'm getting in a rant, and I'm getting hot and all this thing. I'm sweating. I need a drink right here. And I know that's not professional. But I'm proud of what Memphis Wrestling History did. But then we changed the history book. We went in another direction. And some of the people, like Bill Dundee, he came out there, you guys – couldn't draw 10 cents in Chinese money. He believed that. That's why it came across real. I'm proud of these power pros. Adam's proud of these power pros. That's why I take time creating, researching the show, getting everything together, promoting it, because unfortunately, it was a one market session. The territory had already gone the right way, but this was... <coughs> Memphis wrestling with a new twist. Now, I talk and say, oh, this is good, this is good, and if some not too good, I try to miss and say that too because I know everybody, uh, everything we did wasn't good. But I am proud of Power Pro Wrestling. I am proud of this show, the Power Pro Watch Along. And when we have people from Australia that's interested, when we have people to, from Thailand that's interested, when we have somebody from Georgia that's interested, from Alabama that's interested, from all over the country is interested. This is Memphis Wrestling Take Two. This is Memphis Wrestling Up to Date. This is Memphis Wrestling with a new freaking twist. It's exactly what that is, and I'm proud of it. Try to follow that, Adam, so I can get my freaking breath but i'm proud of what we did in power pro wrestling i'm proud to bring it to you on this show right now and hopefully we will create new power pro fans and we'll do it on the show every monday night thoughts out well yeah i don't know how i'm supposed to follow that <laughs> but absolutely yeah. You up. yeah right um but absolutely, just like, like Randy said, you know, Power Pro Wrestling, with their whole reason that we bring this to you every Monday night and the whole reason we do it in an episodic fashion is because it's rare to have the entire month or year even of Memphis Wrestling. And we have all 154 episodes of Power Pro Wrestling. So we bring that to you every week. And we also have the unique situation in that we can have Randy here on with us to be able to explain the show and tell you about what was going on. And, you know, it's no joke. Like Randy said, we have it all right here. These are the original formats for all these shows. And so we're able to dig back into the details, dig back in the archives and tell you everything about each one of these shows, what the mindset was, what went into them. And, you know, like Randy was saying just now, you know, the whole reason I, I told Randy in a private message while it was airing, because we don't preview the shows normally because we want to be able to give you our raw reaction to them. You know, how many times have you seen guys that when they have a show, they try to do all the guys in the ring and they say their gripes and everything and none of it comes across feeling real. It all feels scripted and everything. And like Randy said, believe it or not, what these guys were saying is truly what they felt. And it may just be like how wrestlers do is themselves turned up to 11, right? Same thing here. These were their real thoughts and feelings. And like Randy said, maybe they were directing them at who they may have been programmed with at the time, but they were how they actually felt. So there no acting required. This is just how it was. Randy was just smart enough to say, hey, let's take it and put it on TV because the old adage that we always hear, especially on the Tuesday night show, is that personal issues draw money see that in in the pro product every week one quick thing i want to bring you right back in because i think you've told me in the past that your wife allison likes the current television show yellowstone is that true adam yes that is correct did you see the post where and i never thought of it for Liza compares 
Yellowstone with Power Pro Wrestling. Did you notice that? Yeah, he said it, it reminds him of Memphis Wrestling, and I saw he had a longer post. Let me find it and put it up, too. He says, been watching shows like Yellowstone, pretending it's pro wrestling as the content on Yellowstone is what a good pro wrestling show would be with content that keeps you interested. And that's true. And, you know, I wish I could remember. Uh, I was talking to my wife about something the other day, and I forgot what it was about. And so I almost hate to even say the story. But the point of the story was, and I used pro wrestling to illustrate it, it was something, some show she watched or, or whatever, and they got rid of or they conquered or got rid of whatever the bad guy was. And I said, well, it's just like pro wrestling. You can't have a triumphant hero without the antagonist. And so it's just you can kind of see the good basic storytelling. You will see that on real good pro wrestling. And we just had a good crew. I thought everybody and for the most part, except for Dundee, there weren't a lot of experienced talkers and a lot of experienced people in a main storyline like that of such a amount of time devoted to that and it's good now i'm not planning to break back in but if i feel that we need to make a point if i feel we need to rant if we need to really bring something out we certainly will do that we just had one segment on the show and we'll see the second part of the power pro wrestling show from may 1st 1999 as adam rose the video right now hey this thing is not ended yet back in the back near the lockers is bulldog reigns and uh steve bradley that brawl has continued Even i'm blown the up commercial uh break there we saw it get started with dundee and big grimes and back in the back area man there's brad uh, bulldog reigns going at it the power hour underway, and uh, still have not gotten to our no. first match, match yet. I'm hearing no. that, that's Bradley and Bulldog understanding that there's there's another brawl going on in the in the hallway. Can we pick a camera up there? Oh, come on, that, that, hey, come on, well, you and I were the new champions, and now you're preoccupied with bringing the back. I see you only one though, Jack. I don't think you knew it. What? Now you left behind Brock last week against Waller and Dundee. You're just mad enough. Obviously, you can't take her on. You can't go up there and anybody. A little confusion in the camp of getting wicked. Derek, you get your mind in the game. I've been there. I've had my mind in the game. All right, I'll tell you what we got today. We're 17 minutes, Bauer. Haven't had our first match yet. Dave is trying to catch up with Randy to see which direction we need to go. Can we pick Dave up? There they are, Dave. Can Dave hear? And, and I realize and we're that. running out of time. I realize that. Yeah. I'm upset. I haven't seen anything the, else the, ever. The format is just totally wrong. These guys, they just want everybody who wants their time in the sun. I mean, that's ex exactly right. This is what we do. I got to have a second to think. Or we uh, listen. Let's throw it back to Corey and Janice. If uh, maybe Mark can hear me, uh, throw it back to. Oh, uh, Corey, and let's just take a break, and well, then we just got back. I know it, but uh, we don't have a match. We'll take a break, and I promise I'll get a match in the the ring. Everybody's mad at everybody. I mean, I'm not mad. I'm just concerned for the fans that we got to. I gotta, know we'll get them action in the ring in this break. Let's, okay. uh, let's see if we can take it back to to Corey. Okay. Okay. Oh, take it back okay. To we'll uh, we'll get Dave back here. Let's do that. Let's take a break. We've got action for you. I guarantee you. There's more still to come on the Power Hour. We'll be back to all of it. Another interesting well, right. comment, a new view for the YouTube be, uh, version the of uh, Power Pro Wrestling, Power Hour. Uh, I don't think so. Phone call. I don't think we're going to get any TV time. Like, come on, do a little telecommentary for you. I'm going to wrestle in this match here. I got to wrestle. Well, you're letting Paul go. 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 Well, look. That, okay, that's a spare. Mike, you, yeah, you, but but watch your language, and, and, and uh, you're not running Corey out of here. Corey's staying right here. All right, if you're not wrestling Kalka, who is? Randy said he would have a match. amateur uh, athlete, Kurt Angle. He talks about winning a gold medal when they gave it to him. He had no, well, he had no opponent. gold medal. Huh. And, and the key word there, Mr. Brown, winning the gold. Amateur, he's an amateur athlete. Winning a gold medal. 
between amateur and professional. Incredible. This is professional wrestling, is it not? This is professional wrestling, and it is different, yes. Fans standing USA behind the Olympian Kurt Angle. Referee says, ring it, and here we go. The only three letters that the, that the people here can remember. Oh, man. You know, enough about Let's talk a little bit more on me. You know, I was talking about the match. professional boxer in Ireland. You know that. You know that, don't you? You did what? I am a licensed professional boxer in Ireland. But this the is not Derek, professional boxing. Professor, and this is not Ireland. This is the United States. That's right. And I came over here to clean house. But Mr. Hales doesn't seem to want to give me the chance. Mr. Hales given you plenty of chances. We've seen you in action. Yeah. You've said you're tough. There's no doubt about that. Attitude we don't like sometimes. Well, as you can see, Mr. Coca here has beaten the living gobshite out of this so-called Olympic athlete. I mean, it's pitiful. Look at him. He's beating the gobshite out of him. You know, he's toying with him. Did he just say you know, shit? I, I will... There's a... Two. Two. It's over. No, it's two, not three. three. It's a two count. That's just a two count. Two count the right referee him? says. You know, I will say one thing. There is a lot of power pro wrestling. Oh, no doubt about it. Now it's okay. Over. Now it's bloody over. One, One two, two, three. Oh. Maybe some of these talents has McTurney. overshadowed a little bit when you have guys like, like the fabulous ones job. and all that. Now so I do agree. The 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 you look at the, the people well, involved, well, that opening well, segment, and then this match with Kurt Angle. I mean, trying to get him over, it. trying Glenn to get Coca, Ben year Coco. Come from the Canadian Football League, highly, highly recommended. Also, that guy is a professional. Of course, Steve Brown is a well, legend. You can't listen to this commentary uh, oh, and not see Coca. the and chemistry and out the out teamwork that Corey Mackler and Dave Brown it. has together and the excitement level that Corey brings to this program. Amateur wrestlers are at that's going to leave a mark. That's going to leave a mark. Liza? Turn up, get up. There, and Angle up on his feet now. Job tight. This doesn't look good at all. Is that how you pronounce it? Toe to toe. This is a heck of a match. And I guarantee you, I was taking a little shot, and I was comparing this to some of the local programs, and they probably think in the back of their mind, of how great they are. Hey, they cannot the freaking Take compare to this. Ability of people to tell stories, physical ability now, of these guys, Jerry. unbelievable. A match between Glenn Coca from Canadian Foley sure against Olympic gold medalist from 1996, Kurt Angle. We have a great crew. Referee gets involved there. And a win by Kurt Angle. A win by Kurt Angle. What a match. Tierney jumped right in there and has grabbed Angle and now he holds him up. Coca still got that chain, doesn't he? Or did the referee get it away from him? Oh, that's the chain there on the mat there. Right there. Coca body slams Kurt Angle. And Tierney with that ice flag. Lies it right across Kurt Angle. Man, you can talk about an insult for a uh, USA Olympian. Yeah, the man who it won was the great gold medal for the USA. Yeah. Well, probably wasn't on this show today, but certainly, it's great, and, great. and it was a great battle. But today's focus was to, right the maybe because we had to, we Olympic didn't have a lot of the legendary talent, uh -huh. it was to create stars to make. We're underway oh, here, a strange uh, thing to get, get hour 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 want to tell you about action. And I think we did that. At, uh, the New Daisy Theater this coming Friday night. Big Friday night down uh -huh. on Beale Street. And Power Pro Wrestling is going to be part of it at the New Daisy Theater. It's a big special giveaway night coming there. I'm going to tell you about uh, the uh, card in just a minute. Corey and I are, are going to fill you in on. But listen to some of the things that are going to be given away. A one-year pass for any Power Pro event anywhere in the area. Horseshoe Casino, a three-day, two-night stay at the hotel. Coupons from McDonald's, a wristband certificate from Putt Putt, gift certificate from Walmart, gift certificate from Public Eye Restaurant, Liberty Land passes, Malco Theater passes, AC Fitness, formerly Gold's Gym, membership passes, Cinemagic Video coupons, party certificate from Excite, uh, from Hard Rock Cafe gift certificates, European Tans, tanning package, no purchase necessary uh -huh. that's all of the big night coming up friday night gonna be a big night we got eight big matches signed listen to the card here's the opening bout alan Steele opens up against Derek king that's the opening bout coming up friday night at new daisy indeed not, not, not only that a big iron man challenge the winner of the most falls in 
20 minutes. You give them 20 minutes. Whoever has the most balls at the end of time, tally them up. Kid Wicked going against Steve Bradley. That should be interesting. Then a power for a title contender match when the WWF's Fight 2 hits Memphis. He hits the power pro five. He'll tangle up with vicious big grinds. That'll be a dandy down there Friday night at the New Daisy. And then a freestyle wrestling challenge journey talking about being a, a licensed boxer in Ireland and all of that. And then you got the Olympic champion freestyle wrestling tyranny against Kurt Angle. The superstar Bill Dundee in action in a title contender match coming up there. He'll tangle up uh, in the ring there. Friday night, the superstar. And a big Tennessee shootout is coming up. Sixteen men will be competing. It's under Royal Rumble rules. Uh -huh. The winner of this Tennessee shootout will receive a title match with Freebird Michael Hayes that night. And here's the way it works. You just uh, There's going to be a box for every wrestler located right there in the lobby of the New Daisy. When you come in, you'll just pick uh, and choose who you think will win the battle all. For instance, if Dave Brown's in the battle all, you uh, put your name in Dave's box. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't look for mine because... I'm not going to be in the match. But, but you just put your name in the in the box of who you think will win, what wrestler you think will win. Yeah. And uh, whoever wins that battle all, they'll go in the box, pull the name, there's one winner, and the winner wins a brand new color television. Absolutely. We'll as well, Friday night. And the rules on this match now, you have two men start the match, and every, I think, 30 seconds or a minute, another wrestler will join. Yeah. And finally, it's last man standing, and then... Uh, uh, whoever uh, whoever has put uh, whoever's name is drawn uh, gets, the gets the TV. Gonna be a big night Friday night in New Days. We're talking color TVs and we're talking all sorts of great giveaways. Big night down there. Friday and we're night. talking. You get tickets ahead of time by calling Ticketmaster. Mm -hmm. I think five two five fifteen fifteen is the number to call. Ticketmaster in all locations. Get your tickets for Friday night at the New Daisy Theater. Tickets will also be on sale there. We better take another break so we can get it on. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We haven't had much yeah. wrestling yet. We're, we're going to. We'll be back in just a moment. On uh, the Power Hour today, it's been a wild one already. Off to a wild start when everybody was out here complaining they weren't getting enough air time, they weren't getting uh, enough uh, recognition uh, in Power Pro Wrestling. And all of a sudden, uh, a young man uh, hit the ring and uh, things started sort of scattering. You no, know, that was a time, Greg, where right Jerry Lawler was not on the show much. He was running the in of the city and, uh, of Memphis. Uh, he's not, whoa, over the top rope. Here he comes right into and the I ring. And I think the show Brandon, was very good right without him. He obviously was that strong. I'm not on. saying no, that I, I there's no doubt in the world about it. He I, made you know, every show so much better, but this show's been Troy very Anderson, good and it's been different. Too. Over the last few weeks, it's probably been lower than it's ever been before. Yeah. And what I've done at home, and it doesn't help, I've, I've got a tape together of, you know, Derek King and I were friends. I consider Derek King a real close friend. He came to the house and we hung out. And uh, what he did to me at Jonesboro, and then what he did to me in Memphis on Beale Street, uh, it stuck in my mind. And this piece of tape, this is what I watch over and over, Derek King. So I want, if we can play it now, play this tape, Derek King. Let's show the people what I have to live with every day, what I have to live with with myself. Uh-oh, Derek King gets off the ropes, throws Brandon in the chair. Wait a minute. Derek King. Oh, no. Derek King. In Brandon's absence, he appointed Derek King interim president of Power Pro Wrestling. No! No, Last week of the new I day. guess what you know, people say, Brendan Baxter, why do you watch the tape every day? 
Why do you want to see it? Let me tell you why I want to see it. Because, Dan King, every time I watch that tape, I get a little bit more mad at you. And that makes me want to come and find you even more. But the problem, Derek, is that you're a coward. You're a yellow belly, you're a snake in the grass, and you don't have the guts to come out here and meet me face to face. This is a challenge. If you have any intestinal fortitude at all, come out here and meet me man to man. If you can beat me, if you can beat me up, if you can leave me laying, I'll go back there, I'll pack my bags, and I'll leave Power Pro for good. But I don't think you're that good. Challenge made. Yeah, that's, there it is, well, and we'll see. Can you get him out Brandon, here? Brandon, I'm sure know. you okay, want wait. me to come out there, but look, I let if you land two weeks in a row, and quite frankly, I'm sick of beating you. I don't want to come out there now. I'm not coming out there to see you. So quite frankly, this interview is over. You know, you know, I kind of figured that Derek may pop in from the restroom because he's chicken. You people think he's chicken? Derek King, if you don't want to come out here, I'll come and find you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That doesn't sound good. There hey, Brandon goes Baxter. Brandon. We, we we better take a break. We'll uh, see if we can get a camera there. We'll be back in just a moment. Tickets, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to TV5 Power for Wrestling, Team 60, Union Avenue, Memphis, Tennessee, 38104. We uh, have another match coming up. Check, though, because uh, while we were away for commercial, uh, something did happen out in the hallway. Uh, we kept tape rolling. Do we have that tape we can take a look at right now? Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! What was that? Was that drain cleaner soap? Liquid soap? Some kind of drain cleaner? That's what it looked like. That's just, uh, that's just terrible what Derek just did. I mean, Derek King has been a kid that I have just uh, really had a lot of admiration for here in his, his quest for the young guns and all of that. And now, all of a sudden, uh, he's, uh, he, he's, he's doing, uh, doing this sort of thing. And, uh, uh, I, I, it's just hard to explain uh, what's going on. I, I, I do understand that it's one of those situations where everybody thinks they are the top guy around here, and they're, they, they're out to prove that they can be at the top of the card, and they can earn the most money, and they can do that. But to do stuff like that is just unexcusable, and, uh, and Derek just uh, should be ashamed of the, that sort of thing. <laughs> Corey is back there somewhere. Corey, uh, I hope we'll, we'll check on Brandon. We can we can get a uh, a report uh, in in just a moment or so. Meanwhile, here comes Kid Wicked. Uh, Kid Wicked uh, out here. Hey, Dave, how you doing? All right. I want you to watch I, this uh, Young I, Gun match if I can. Okay, you're not in this match then because the, the whole about two or three days ahead of time. And we usually get a format for what's, uh, what matches are coming up, right. but this whole thing has changed today. Is that, is that one going to happen? I think well, Bradley's coming I, up. I don't, right? I don't have any idea what's coming up. I see Bulldog Reigns. Now, that's a change to the card earlier today. Right, he made his demands. I don't know. I so, uh, Bulldog is uh, headed uh, into the ring, and here yeah, comes Bradley. Yeah, that's Steve Bradley. That's, Bradley. that's, Bradley. that's, that's right. That's what it's going to be. Sensational speed. He's got something I want. I just don't know. Adam made a comment to me in our private chat. I know that's a huge thing. I agree with yeah, it hundred percent. This episode shows how important live television is. When he came to this territory, he spoke he the unexpected. I mean, that's I what we did. Because I was a tag champion at the time. He never beat me one, two, three, one on one. That's right. You never beat me one, two, three, one on one for that for that trophy. That's my. I want it back. Young Guns trophy is not at stake here. Oh, this is not a title match. It is not a title match. Well, that's good because I'd hate to have to beat Bullfrog for it. I want to beat Steve Bradley. Bulldog. Bulldog reigns, and, and Bulldog says that Bradley apparently is. Uh, is afraid to put Tony the, uh, Williams, the trophy up against him. He says uh, Bradley yeah, a fantastic a good game job. out here, but uh, he, won't, he won't put the trophy on the line. And, and, like and I got to say, you know, why wouldn't he put the trophy on the line? Because if he that, thinks he's so big and bad and can beat everybody, including Bulldog Reigns, why not put the trophy on the line? Like you said, Dave, he talks the talk, but can't walk the wall. 
Very good, man. I love Bull Ring. Man, he's a tough son of a gun. He cuts your guts out, man. A tough son of a gun from Georgia. Your state, Al. Your state, Georgia. Or Adam. Drop it. Great drop kick from Steve Bradley. This is just a very good show. This Bradley, I've said it Very good show. Sure. He is impressive. We don't like his problem is he can back up uh, what he's uh, what he's talking about. He can back up half of it, but like I said, Dave, he never beat me one on one. And I just well, if he beats me one on one, then that's one thing. Well, but he hasn't done it. He may because coming up Friday night at New Daisy, you're booked in that Iron Man match. It's 20 minutes in the ring, and whoever's the most falls to their credit at the end of it, 20 minutes is uh, the winner of the Iron Man match, and it's you against Bradley. So you get your chance. Come. Yeah, I haven't seen Steve Bradley go 20 minutes yet. I don't think he can do it. Oh. I'm going to break his neck. Get on the floor here. He can't do that. Bulldog Reigns. See, there goes Bradley again. I'm telling you, Friday night, Brad will win that trophy back. I promise you that. This Friday night in the Iron Man match, that trophy's going to be mine. I promise I don't you. I think you understand, brother. Friday night. I'm the Young Guns champion. Friday night. Well, Bradley not paying much attention to his opponent, Bulldog Reigns, over here. Talking to uh, Kid Wicked. Wicked we lost him. Steve uh, Rush too soon. To he passed away and on December the 4th, 2008. This was March of 1999. Bradley says, what are you doing, referee? It's one, two, three. Reigns drops it down. There's one, two, three. The upset by Bulldog Reigns as he defeats Steve Bradley. Kid Wicked interfering. I didn't remember that finish. Reigns probably, no, it's not a title match, Bulldog. Steve Bradley grabs grabs the trophy, but Bulldog Reigns has his May 1st, 1999. Expect the will be back Adam Dunn, the Randy Hill. With the power hour, Big Grimes, and Bill Dundee will be on this show, and it's been an action pack. Yes. Yeah. And we're doing some business. Now, just go with the on tour here. On tour? It's going to get another match in? Yeah. Okay. We'll go with Derek King and... Uh, Okay, I, I appreciate you doing that. I, I think you ought to give you credit here for putting this together after all that at, uh, at the beginning. We'll have another match coming up. First, let's tell you about the action coming up around the night. Big night in Turrell, Arkansas. It's going to be at the high school. 7.30 is when it all begins over in Turrell, Arkansas. Bill A little Dundee, information the about Kid this. Derek King, Glenn Cole, Derek King Crunch, and Brandon, Brandon Baxter and scheduled tonight, in a match. Turrell, we did the angle on TV Thursday with night, the blinding. Casino, so we six, ended up Corey, going. Uh, I announced Corey, that Brandon couldn't uh, be there. And Derek will win by four fifth. Then Derek challenged me right there at Terrell High School. I had a match. We went back to the dressing room and fall. We went up in the blood and fall. The new we fall all over the place, uh, and then you can get your he hit me with his finish. One, two, location. three. Saturday, I May, bet Rubs you Arkansas didn't know that. Adam, I gave you a scoop Dundee, right there. Baldo, Glenn, Fatu, Brandon Baxter, all at Grubbs, yeah, Arkansas, did. at the high school. I mean, one week from tonight. Friday, May 14th, news. Ripley, Tennessee, at the high name, school. Saturday, so May 15th, Jones, Arkansas, returning to the Earl Bell Community Center. And coming up on Friday, May 21st, oh, Adwood, Tennessee. Yes, Saturday, May 22nd, Adwood High School. Superstar Bill Dundee, Vic Grimes, Lynn Kalka, all in Atwood. Tickets on sale at the bank. I don't remember. That previous Ever night, going right, at what? I don't know that, where it is, uh, is Adam. Do you? In, uh, 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 the uh, barbecue contest, world champion look, barbecue contest. Uh, Going to be wrestling down the air with uh, some of the stars uh, from Power Pro. So make your plans for all of that surge. The folks at Surge sponsoring that. So uh, big action coming up the next few weeks. Be there when it's your territory. Just checked on uh, Brandon. Uh, okay, but isn't that absolutely ridiculous? Well, was, that, was, well, was that some kind of drain soap or drink cleaner? Yeah, it was or drain yeah. That drink when you threw it right in his eyes, so oh they're checking on Brandon back there, uh, but I think BB's going to be fine. Good. Hope and here is Derek King. There is so you, much oh, action and so Derek much chaos, but it's organized, Adam. It doesn't seem rushed. Well, you know, he said 
one thing out here earlier to, at the beginning. He said he entertained the fans, and he did, and the fans loved him. But I tell you what, the fans are going to be thinking differently of him with the, uh, him doing things like he did to Brandon Baxter here today. I mean, absolutely uncalled for. Here's Kid Wicked out, and uh, here are the originators of the Young Gun Division: Gary King, Kid Wicked. Just a couple weeks before, Gary King turned on Baxter, switching Hill. And a special time next week. I have a lot of matches. Kid Wicked and Gary King this time. One hour early next only. Well, actually, I think uh, during the month of May, we have uh, some rearranging. You know, the NBA, since they missed the first half of the season, they're doing a lot of double headers and triple headers. This time, Kid Wicked is a baby. And TV5 are carrying those. Next week, I think it's a double header, maybe even a triple header, NBA. Uh, so, for that reason, Power Pro Wrestling's on at 10 next week. Uh -huh, nice hip toss from Kid Wicked. And again, as a two former... This is a good NBA match here. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe right here in the ring on Power Pro Wrestling. And here's Steve Bradley. Yeah, he showed him. Nicholas, yeah, thank you Steve for with the young sending me a very interesting and, uh, YouTube video it, uh, about uh, cardio Wicked, problems. Uh, may have cost him problems. About diet. Steve Bradley. That gave me up to fight and do. Bradley joining us up well, here. Well, well, well. I, I, I agree. I think you had Bulldog Reigns beat, and Kid Wicked probably cost you that match. That's right. Well, there can't be a Young Guns contender match without the Young Guns champion here on the ringside. I'm just taking a look at all the other Young Guns. Check out my competition a little bit. You know how I am for competition, Dave. Yeah, I know. You've said there wasn't much competition around here, but I think maybe uh, you may have changed your mind, especially when you look at somebody like Bulldog Reigns, that no matter how it happened, fact is, Bulldog gets his hand raised, and they're like Derek King and Ted Wicked, who would like to see the same thing happen. Uh, yeah, but you know who I am. I'm a lover. I'm not a fighter. I'm not into this cheating and doing underhanded things to win a match. I win my matches fair and square. I don't. I love those comments from Steve Bradley. You know what I'm trying to say. I do want to know what you're trying to say, and uh, it's yeah. uh, hard for me to disagree with that. Yeah, and he says he wins his matches fair and square. This is the same guy that's been knocking. The guys out with that big trophy well exactly and that's and the all part, that stuff that's part that uh I big back I think, uh, I think mr bradley uh, uh has yep. a different definition of winning fair and square than maybe we do the referee down in the uh, in the ring wicked with a cover he's calling for a count but the referee is down steve bradley reaches under the ring and he uh he, he found He's got a, a metal chair yeah, there, Dave. Yeah, fold it. He put it back, though. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Okay, what's fair and square about that? Whoa. There comes Kid Wicked over the top rope after Bradley, now back into the ring. Yeah, because Bradley tried to nail Kid Wicked one, with that. Two. A two count, and he grabs referee Aubrey Wayne. Yeah, I, I think what Bradley had in mind was to hit Kid Wicked. Now he, now he shoves that chair in. To Derek King. Derek King. Oh boy. Goes after Kid Wicked. Now he slides the chair out of the ring so the referee doesn't see it. He covers. Count is one, two. That's he a great job. Hook the leg and see that's the kind of stuff that makes me even more angry with Derek what King. A, what a what a Even that when a guy like Steve Bradley. What a weird day all the way around. And there you have Derek King winning this match, but give Steve Bradley a big assist. We'll be back with more. we still got the superstar, Bill Dundee. Hey, get more action even tonight. Turl, Arkansas coming up. Power for wrestling at the Turl High School tonight. 7.30 bell time. Look at the names tonight in Turl, Arkansas. All of this action spills over down the highway, down the Turl. Tonight. And it'll probably continue Friday night at the New Daisy Theater. You know, uh, wrestling companies uh, come and go, and uh, uh -huh. Power Pro just celebrated, uh, I think you may remember, our first anniversary uh, a couple of weeks ago. And we realize that the reason for that success is, uh, is the fans. And uh, the, the talent that we have here, yeah, but also the great fans who no support us at the New Daisy, who support us here on TV5 every week. Week. And as a result, the Power Pro office has put together a special giveaway night. Listen to some of the things. A one-year pass for any Power Pro event anywhere in the territory, not just at the New Daisy. Horseshoe Casino Stay, McDonald's coupons, putt putt wristband certificates, Walmart gift certificate, public gift certificates, Liberty Land admission passes, Malco Theater movie passes, AC Fitness used to be Gold's Gym, membership pass, Cinemagic video coupons, party certificate from Excite, a gift certificate from Hard Rock Cafe, 
a tanning package from European Tans. No purchase necessary. All of that a part of the big night coming up Friday night at the New Daisy Theater. It starts at 8 o'clock. Bell time's 8 p.m. with the opening bout. Alan Steele takes on Mr. Personality's Derek King. Then you got that Iron Man challenge. Winner of most falls in 20 minutes. Wins the match when Kid Wicket tangles up with Steve Bradley. That's not over. That one could get pretty interesting right there, especially given what's happened today. Fatu from the WWF will be going against vicious Vic Grimes. Then Mick Tierney and Kurt Angle top in that freestyle wrestling challenge. That's going to be uh, a dandy also with Angle and Tierney. Power Pro title contender match. Superstar Bill Dundee against Carl Ouellette. Then the Tennessee shootout. It's the 16 men competing under the Royal Rumble rules. Winner to receive the title match with the Freebird Michael Hayes the very same night. That follows the Tennessee shootout as the main event, the Power Pro heavyweight title. Freebird Michael P.S. Hayes will be in action. Title Friday night at the New Daisy on Bill. You pick up those tickets at uh, New Daisy, any Ticketmaster outlet, or call 525. 1515 and be there Friday night. Here comes the superstar, Bill Dundee, who gets some fans going to get a chance to win a color TV in that uh, Tennessee match, too. Here he is. What do you say, Willie? Uncle Corey, how you doing, brother? They're all out here whinging and griping about who's this and who's that. Well, like I said before, they ain't going to draw 15 cents in Chinese money for a little while. You're going to be around a long time. This is South, brother. Until they take you into their heart and like to love you. You ain't gonna do nothing. That's why the superstar and the king still around you. Now, Vic, I'm, why don't you... Oh, before I get into that, that guy's coming Friday night. What's yeah, his name? Carl Ouellette. He's another big French-Canadian. Remember Joe Leduc? Remember Jean-Louis? Well, he's the same type. He's the same type guy. And he's coming in here to beat this midget that everybody calls him. Well, come on, big boy. I'll be waiting Friday night. And Vic Grimes, I'm waiting on you now. The superstar hits the ring and uh, ready now for our main event on the Power Hour. Man, a few words today. He's just ready to take care of business. I mean he is. That's the Bill Dundee style as he heads to the ring right now. Going again. Big big drive. Very close. Whoa! Guys, misses with the close on. Look at Dundee! Not on the way on guard. Here comes Mick Tierney. This thing already. Oh, no. Already it's over. I mean right from the get go. Referee call for the bell. Kurt Angle comes in and evens things up. Here comes Steve Bradley and Bruno steps in there. Looks like we're going to end it. We started off with a ring full. That's what I was just thinking, Corey. We started the, the whole day with people showing up and filling up the ring, and now all of a sudden, here we are near the end broadcast with the same situation. The power hour. What a wild one today. We've got another one uh, coming up next week. Remember, one hour early. 10 o'clock next week, live right here on TV5. That's right. It's kind of like a Tennessee shootout preview. Right. Hey, and don't forget Terrell Arkansas, all of the great fans around Terrell. Powerful hits Terrell tonight at the high school. You're going to see all of this sort of action and even more coming up tonight in Terrell. All of a sudden today, there's so much bad blood. It finally all boiled over as everybody decided they would be the main performer like in Power Pro Wrestling. And this like is what it's come down to almost every man for himself. Man, I tell you, oh, Dundee's got Bruno over in the corner. He's oh, oh. Bruno. A big cheer for out for that yeah. as Bruno nailed him. As Bruno got nailed. Well, well down after him. Time is winding down here, Corey. Until next week, 10 a.m. for Corey Macklin. I'm Dave Brown for the so long, everybody. Wow, we'll get Adam's final comments on this show. Then Adam will plug next Monday's show. Then I will plug tomorrow's show and hit the radio station plug for Wednesday. So it's Adam with his thoughts on today's show and his preview for next week's show. All right. And, you know, I'll, I really do. I hate to say it, but my God, it's just, it just, every time, you know, it just, we, keep on every week and it's for different reasons but man what a great show today i really enjoyed the beginning of the show where we had everybody out there in the ring the action throughout the show and then even talking about the new daisy and the fan appreciation and everything going right along with it man what a show next week we can keep it up we'll have vic grimes out in the parking lot and you'll see the debut you saw that he came in for the uh show with the new daisy but jr smooth Two will be J.R. Smooth making his debut. We'll see the Power Pro title, J.R. Smooth against Michael Hayes. 
We'll see Kurt Angle going against Mick Tyranny. Vic Grimes will talk about hardcore wrestling. And we'll see Brandon Baxter and Derek King in a segment. And we'll have a video from Nicole Bass. An eight-man will be uh, match will be for the Held Up Young Guns title. Derek King will be going against Bulldog Reigns, Kid Wicked, Glenn Kulka, Alan Steele, Vic Grimes, Kurt Angle, and Mick Tyranny. So a lot of... A lot of talent going to be in that match coming up next week, Randy. I can't wait for that. We'll see if it's able to follow up what an amazing show we had here today. Thank you, Adam. Appreciate okay. everything you do for tomorrow night. It's Talking Memphis Wrestling. We will get into the year 1987, which was the year of the very exciting and controversial Austin Idol, Jerry Lawler, hair versus hair match with Tommy Rich hid underneath the ring. We will see Idol and Rich injure Lawler before that, several months before that. Lawler vows revenge, just great stuff. One quick little clip with Idol and Rich being spooked by the crowd, I, crowd, and I was a part of that deal. And we will go to 1987 Jerry Law, Jeff Jarrett's very first world championship match as he wrestled and challenged Nick Bonkwinkle. That's all on the show tomorrow night, Wednesday morning. I wasn't there last Wednesday because they didn't have a show. It's the ticket.com. It's 96.9 FM, 95.3 and 9 a.m. Al Tuttle, who hadn't been very talkative today, but he usually listens to that show on 953theticket.com. The phone number is 80930-3776. 870-930-3776. Now, we have Al Tuttle saying he enjoyed this show. He, he enjoys the show tomorrow night, and he'll be listening to the Ticket Radio work tomorrow as we're trying to... Do it to it like Sonny Pruitt, man. What a show today. I apologize that we are going, even though we'll be back with the Power Hour next Monday. And what we have to do, because this was my baby, folks, absolutely 100%. And sometimes things just click in my head. Memories come to my head that I haven't thought of in a long, long time. And I, I think that... When we when we educated, when we tell people stuff that back then was protected and was behind the scenes, and now that wrestling is open up more, I think you guys like to hear that. You guys like the stories and like what we were thinking at the time. I hope to be able to have in the next several weeks he's just hard to get a hold of but the brandon baxter to come in and help us out and he's been with the power pro show before i think as a matter of fact the last time it's when we show the july the fourth rumble on the record hey the rumble on the river just another great episode today we couldn't do production wise without adam dunn plus he has great Great insights into the show. We couldn't do it without you guys. We rock and roll on tomorrow night on Talk to Memphis Wrestling, 7 o'clock Central. Everything's up on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash at Randy Hales. Also, we're live on Facebook, on, on Twitter, and the show will not live archived only on twitter tomorrow we're done we're going late we're going over time i'm very proud of that show expect the unexpected we'll see you next time on the power pro wrestling watch party good night everybody thanks for watching Living the Dream, Memphis Wrestling, The Randy Hale Story, is available now at randyhalesmemphiswrestling.com.
Wrestling.